future. Well, in the not so distant future, when we get to the other side of this pandemic, I think we'll find that a certain percentage of people will have picked up capacities for solitude and reflection that they didn't have before. And that's a very good thing. There'll also be a tremendous hunger for actual contact. Social distancing will go from six feet to four feet to two, and then we'll go through a year or so of bowing, which will be very nice, very respectful and humbling. But then when it's safe, hugging is going to come back with a vengeance. Even with Zen Buddhists and traditionalists in countries like Japan and Thailand, hugging is going to become huge long, really tightly held hugs. And all over the world, people won't just be singing on their balconies. They're going to take it out on the street. There'll be song and lyric poetry everywhere, along with a surge of solar-powered electric lutes. Yes, lutes. And when it gets dark, folks will gather around campfires and tell stories to each other through the sparks. And rectangles, listen carefully, rectangles will become very unpopular. I think that will be the biggest change in art and design education. No more rectangles. No more faces in rectangles. No more rectangular whiteboards, cell phones, canvases. No more rectangular or squarish books. I have no idea what kinds of shapes people will come up with for these things, but I'm sure it'll be interesting. One thing is certain. Government leaders, chancellors, and boards of trustees will say, hey, look, you've got great outcomes teaching remotely. We don't need all those buildings and shops and equipment and tenured faculty and unions anymore. Let's do it all online. Man, are they going to be surprised by the clamor of parents wanting to get their kids out of the friggin' house and all the young people desperate to be with other students and teachers again, to have in the flesh conversations and making things with their hands again, daring to fail, being out on greens, throwing non-virtual frisbees, having non-virtual sex, experimenting with mind-altering drugs, not just by themselves. Shh. And all this hard, metallic glass, plastic stuff like computers are going to soften. We'll be reading on our sleeves and pillowcases and shower curtains, adjusting the size and style of type to our own likes and needs. But that's a decade or so away. In the near future, after COVID, people will call that AC, by the way. And before COVID will be BC. So AC, science will become the new religion. And the coolest thing you could be, next to being an art student, of course, will be a medical student. And even less civilized countries, like the United States, might finally figure out a way for everyone to have health care, because it will have become evident that the health of the family on top of the hill is dependent on how people are faring down at the bottom. That's the silver lining in the future I'm hoping for. Folks realizing we're all interconnected, knowledge beating ignorance, science winning out over denialism, and art making it all worth living for. Or as my friend, the Dutch book artist Jan Voss put it, the last time I saw him, art is what makes life more interesting than art. So there you have it. Now let's get off our duffs and stop watching videos all day long.